Hello and welcome to what I think will be the last video of 2021. So I'm going to start off by wishing you a happy new year a couple days in advance or a couple days late depending on when I put this video up. I am here today with a video where I want to recap 2021 but I do not actually want to go through my list of goals or resolutions that I had for the year step by step. If you want to see what my goals were for the year I will have those linked down below so you can watch those two videos if you want. But I'm going to take a slightly different approach to this this year. Instead of looking at like a bullet point list of goals, I want to talk in more broad terms about what I achieved this year. First of all, I managed to track my writing and this was something that was a goal of mine and I may have missed a day or two of tracking my writing but I think I've been pretty consistent and there is one day in my tracking sheet where I tracked the words written and not the time but I'm not gonna beat myself up over that. I tracked my words which was kind of my only writing goal for the year and I'm very happy that I did. Of course now that I sat down to film this I have not actually looked up what my word count for the year is so I will put that on the screen for you right here so you can see that. Regardless of what that number is because I'm actually I'm honestly not sure what it is I am very very happy with it. I have been writing really good things this year in my own opinion and I'm happy. I'm really, really happy. So the vast majority of my word counts and my writing time in general this year has gone towards the dual rule project. And if you've been here for a while, you probably know what I'm talking about. But it is the story that my husband and I started co-plotting, co-planning, co-world building with a bunch of our subscribers early in the year, I believe in February. And then we started writing it in March or April. I want to say April but I could be wrong. Either way, I have managed to write two drafts of my first half of that story. And that is approximately, we think, up until the halfway point of the story where the paths of our two characters cross and they bond and they take off together for the rest of the quest or parts of the rest of the quest. Uh, I have written the first and second draft of my half of that story. Each draft being around 80k. I think the first one was almost 81,000 words and the second one is 76,000 maybe. And I'm so happy with that story. I've had my ups and downs with it but over the time of actually writing it I have really enjoyed it. I have not had as big of a slump or as big of a I'm not sure I want to write this once we started writing. I had a bit of that in the beginning when we were just outlining it and plotting it because that's how I work, that's my process, but I'm really really happy with what the dual rule project is and I've not yet started reading Marcus's side of the story. That is our current goal to be done with reading each other's until the end of January, so I have time to do that in. I'm filming this on the 27th of December. It's just been a really incredible process and it's been the first time in a long long time, we're talking several years here, where I've taken something from idea to second draft. I did not have the idea, write the first draft and then completely give up on it. And I did not have the idea, we did not have the idea, write the first draft and then change everything because that's sometimes where, what ends up happening for me is that I have the idea, I write a first draft, I realize, oh, the concept is cool, but I hate everything else. The rewrite of the second draft of the dual rule for me was adding stuff and like, making it a bit meatier, like padding it out a bit. And sure, I cut some things, but the vast majority of it is still there in one shape or another and it's good. It's really, really good. Although when I shared my document with Marcus so he can now read it, I found a lot of strange typos. <laughs> but that's, that's funny. That's just funny. Um, but that was a little thing to mention, I thought. I did also this year hit a million words written for NaNoWriMo. Now, I've been doing NaNoWriMo since 2009, so I'm a bit of a veteran when it comes to it. And I've also done a fair few of the camps throughout the years as well. But I've now written a million words, over a million words, during the NaNo events, which I know some people are going for Millwordy this year, or have been going for Millwordy this year. I'm not one of them. It's taken me 13 years to get there, but I, was really happy to reach that milestone and it wasn't something I had as a goal earlier in the year, it wasn't something I definitely set out to do, but I'm really proud that I did it. Next up, I also finally, 
finally started using a typewriter. Now I bought a typewriter, ooh, <laughs> probably 10 years ago and realized maybe six years ago that it was functional-ish, but have since realized it's not actually functional. There is something wrong with the, the carriage part of it that moves when you type. And like, if I press a key, that letter happens, but it doesn't write the letter and also move a step as it should. So if I want to work on that typewriter, I have to press K space, A space, and so on to write a word. And um, that's not really good. Instead, I started using Marx's typewriter that we bought together or that I bought for him in 2017, I think. It's a much newer typewriter, but a typewriter nonetheless. And I started trying that out in the summer and my intention was to write my July project on the typewriter. However, my Camp July project ended up being two and a half, three thousand words and then I stopped. But all of those words were written on the typewriter, so I technically, technically succeeded with the goal. <laughs> Now, my reading year has not been amazing. I am still working through my physical TBR, the only TBR, I don't have an e-reader. Uh, I'm working through my physical TBR, which is this small shelf back here. And I have made progress. I've definitely made progress, but not much. And I haven't loved anything I read, I think. And nothing that stands out to me right now, anyway. I don't think I've bought any new books though, which is good because I don't need to add to this until it's all read. Not true. I did buy one book. I got a gift card from work and I bought one book. I bought Reputation by Lex Croucher with that gift card and I've started reading it and I am enjoying it so far. So fingers crossed, it was actually a good purchase. I have however read a bit more nonfiction than I usually do. I haven't read a lot of nonfiction by any stretch of the word, but I've read some and I've really enjoyed it. And there are a few nonfiction titles that I would like to read going into the new year. However, I'm not gonna buy books. So it's either gonna have to wait until these are all gone or mostly gone or I'm gonna use the library for that. And the last reading or writing related thing I want to talk about in this video is that I had the pleasure and the honor of beta reading for a fellow author tuber where I'm not sure how secret it is that I've done that so I'm not gonna mention anything if if you're watching this and you want to put something in the comments, that's perfectly fine. But I read a very beautifully written and incredibly important book by a fellow author tuber that I do hope to add to these shelves. That's my one like excuse from not buying books next year. If that's published, when that's published, even if it's not next year, that will be added to here. <laughs> And I'm hoping to do more beta reading in the future. Right now I'm going to read Marcus's first half of the Doable Project, which even though I've been involved in because I sort of know what his story is, I'm still really excited to read it. Beta reading for this fellow author tuber was uh, among the only good reading experiences I had this year. I think I had one book I really liked this year and the rest have been kind of meh. So yes, and I've DNF'd so many books. And then I want to talk about something that's completely removed from reading and writing, but I have actually this year worked on myself. <laughs> I don't want to laugh about it because it's actually important, but I feel a little awkward talking about it. I have been talking to a therapist. I've been working through some stuff. I have realized some things about myself and my reactions to things. I don't want to go into great detail about it because it's not that important to you, I don't think, but it's been really good for me. And I've been working on saying no, which is something I have struggled with always. So I've, I've been working on that. I've been working on saying no. And I've also been working on just being kinder to myself, not beating myself up for not succeeding with my goals, for example, not putting all of my self-worth into my achievements, which I've always done and stuff like that. So really very important and not related to authortube really, except for the fact that I've been kinder to myself and maybe more relax when it comes to goals and stuff, but still worth mentioning. As for my goals for 2022, I have not yet decided what my goals are and if I'm gonna have them. I have the idea of being very nice to myself, which is good, but I have the idea of having a goal of writing one word, reading one book, doing one video, even if I have plans and hopes and dreams and ambitions to do more than that, to still feel like I can tick off hopefully all in January and be like, I succeeded with my goals. Now let's see what I do. And or 
having short-term goals, like for November, in November for Nano, I want to write a thousand words. I meant to say a hundred thousand, but I'm being kind to myself. Um, or trying out an experiment and trying to write 30,000 words in 15 hours and see how that goes and like those more short-term goals. But for now, I'm just gonna say that I'm gonna keep tracking my words. That's the only thing I know for sure now. And we'll just see if I come up with any more goals. If I make a video on that, we'll see. And uh, let's just tackle 2022. But that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you a very, very happy 2022. And I'll see you with new videos in the new year. Bye.